just if you were, are you guys married by the way? No. 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 Just friends? Yes. Yeah. Okay, if you get married, come to your wedding. Okay. You never know, you might get married. <laughs> Sister. You never know. If, if, God you, willing. if you got married and you said what? to your husband, God willing. I, I, no, I, I want to stay at home and okay, friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro. Now, listen, please. Please, this is the only lady here, so we should show respect, yeah? Okay. Sister, if you said you got married and you said to your husband that you want to stay at home and just look after the kids, yeah? You you, you, you you have that right, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay, now the husband has to look after you. He has to provide for you, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if you want to go out and work, what it comes to, if you say, no, I want to get a part-time job now, that's better, that means that's more cash for you. That, you know what that means? That means you can go and work now, because it's time to say your woman can't work. You can go work now, now you're balling, because you're making more money, yeah? You're making more money on top of your husband, because your husband still needs to pay for the shopping. I think that'd be hypothetical, though, because in some societies that are highly patriarchal, yeah. women are expected to stay home and they don't necessarily have the right, and yeah. they're also kind of financially tied to their husbands if their yeah. husbands don't allow them to work. Yeah. So therefore, they don't have their own, like, even if they theoretically did have their own income, they're still highly dependent on their husbands who are the uh, breadwinner, and they're yeah. kind of forced to stay home. But you know, you see, that's a very valid point, sister. You know, that's why we have a dowry in Islam. Do you know what a dowry is? Yeah. Okay, do you know why we have that? So that the woman can stay. No, no, you know what? That's no, that's your security. So, for example, if you're, let's say, let's say, you, you, uh, I want to marry you, for example, yeah. Then, no, no, I'm giving an example. If that was the case, sister, you can say, okay, you want to marry me? I want you to give me uh, 15 grand. Ali, we have to run, run off. Are you going? Uh, it's a pleasure, my so pleasure. Sorry if I said anything to. No, 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 Yeah, yeah. So I'm too fast to pass. What are you breaking fast? Nine or Date. Okay. Yeah. But let's me again, man. Thank you, thank you so much. This, this was an interesting conversation. It was, thank yeah. you, I really appreciate it. Gentlemen, yeah. thank, thank you. Thank you, take care. May Allah accept it, may Allah accept it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so sister, the, the reason why, because I did a social experiment about this, yeah? Now, the reason why you have a right to mahar, dowry, is because that's for your security. So if a man is after the wrong things, that secures you and protects you. Now, why Allah says that the men are maintainers of women is because if a man wants to marry you, he has to come and speak to your dad. Why? Because we know there's a lot of men out there that they have the wrong intentions, yeah? And if he's serious, he will go and speak to your dad. Why? Because if he truly honors you, but if he just wants to mess around with you, he's just going to come and say, oh, look, forget your dad. Let's just date for a couple of weeks, see how it goes, yeah? And he's probably going to try to take advantage of you and duck out. Your ma the dowry is there, why? It serves two purposes. Number one, if I'm after the wrong intention and you come and say to me, okay, um, I want 10 grand, I'm gonna say, yeah, bond that, because I'm gonna go um, to some whatever, whatever. Yeah, I don't know how much it is, 10, 20 pounds, I don't know what the hell goes on there, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna go and say, okay, I'm gonna fulfill my desires there, why would I pay 10 grand? That protects you towards an evil man. So does your, uh, your um, father, because a man knows a man, yeah? If uh, somebody's coming to marry my sister, I'm gonna say, let me talk to him. Let me see what he's about. If he's serious, he's gonna have no problem meeting me. Number two, if I gave, if I say, okay, here we go, 10 grand or whatever, your dowry, that protects you in case if a man acts stingy or he ducks out. You have that security for you and your kids. You get it? That's the reason why the Sharia stipulated that a woman, you go to the father and that she, you have to give a dowry. Why? Because that's your right. So it protects you against certain men with wrong intentions. And you can ask for whatever you like. If he's rich, Allah says, whoever has the, uh, the means spend so you can come and say i want 50 grand you can ask for a million pounds you might not get married that's a different story <laughs> but the thing is you can ask for whatever you like that's your protection so you against certain men who will want to take advantage of you, do you get where I'm, where I'm trying to come from uh, yeah I can and you can work as well if you're a muslim woman you can be taken care of and you can go work go work go do part-time job that money is yours your husband can't touch your money if every woman knew what I was talking about, fam, you go shopping, yeah. happy days, yeah? But sadly, not a lot of Muslim men implement this, yeah? Why? Because they don't follow the Quran properly. Not all of them, but I'm saying some. So that's how it is, you know? This is why Islam gives a right of a woman protecting you against slander. If somebody talks ill of you, they get lashed in public. Let everybody see his humiliation because he was trying to slander you. That's why that's there, you know? All these things are in place, sister, because prevention is better than cure. We don't say, okay, go gamble. If you become a gambling addict, we'll have a course for you. What the hell? Go, go drink alcohol. If you become an alcoholic, come, we'll try to, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, rehab, rehab. Yeah, go rehab. How about you don't go there in the first place? How about you do not drink alcohol at all? Yeah, I've got apple juice, orange juice, grape juice. I've got all kind of juice. Why would I go and uh, drink alcohol? Gambling, stay away from it. Going and sleeping around, stay away from it. Why? It causes diseases. 
not only that, not only that, it causes corruption. You're going sleeping around, you're ducking out, you're disappearing, you're leaving that child with no father. A lot of the sisters have daddy issues, yeah? You know what's daddy issues? They want somebody like their father in their life and the father's not there. What do they go? They, what do they do? They go in for some next man who gives, you know, says a few words and they fall for it and they get broken. They, they, they get their hearts broken, yeah? And I covered this in my marriage documentary still. Uh, yeah, you can watch it, yeah, subscribe, like and share. But the reason why, because it's, Allah says in the Quran, don't even come close to illegal sex. Don't come close to you know what that means? That doesn't mean we hold hands. It means it means text messaging, anything. Stay away from it because it destroys your soul. Heartbreak is one of the biggest problems. Yeah. Well, yeah. So then how come you're allowed to own concubines then? I don't know what kind of paranormal activity you've been watching. I was gonna ask a question about when you were saying earlier, earlier, uh, the marriage of Aisha and her age, the marriage of Aisha and you said that the times evolved. So regarding like capital punishment and like cutting off of hands, why can't that also be like keep the principle of making those things maybe illegal or you know kind of deterred but why okay. implement like things that worked a long time ago but not necessarily work today but, but we don't we sense. don't know if it worked so for example sister you need to understand something the sharia the, the, the islamic sharia we, we're not looking out to cut people's hands we're not like yo fam listen catch somebody we mm -hmm. chop his hand up in pieces yeah or yeah you know find the adultery we stop we're not looking for it the get-go because i'm studying a book from um sheikh salah al fawzan yeah it goes through the islamic jurisprudence yeah there is ijma, yeah? I think it was one of the scholars, Ibn Mudir, if I'm not mistaken. He said that the judges, they are not out there to execute it. They are out there to look for any kind of excuse to deter it. Mm -hmm. So what that means is, sister, that in any way, shape or form, it's there to prevent. Because in today's age, I find this very weird, yeah? We give more right to the criminal. My man breaks in your house, you can't touch him. What? <laughs> you break him, okay, yeah, here you go, here's my gold. Yeah, what was your, I'll carry it for you. <laughs> like, seriously. The criminal has more rights, and that's the reason why the feds, what was happening? There was that madness with the feds, remember? <coughs> and Shepherds, they even broke into my car, yeah? I need to call them, I was going to mash them up still. Uh, but they, they, they ran off, yeah? Yeah, actually, literally, literally, they broke into my car, we caught them. The man had my jacket. He's on the pedal with my jacket. He wrote past me, yeah? So me and the jump jumped. It's a long thing anyway, still. But the thing is, what, what happened with the police? They were doing, they were chasing them when they were getting a bit dangerous, taking their helmets off, they would stop the chase. Remember? Wow. And they realized it was madness. And when I was chasing these guys, I saw five, six cars smashed. What did the feds do? They said, no, Banda, now we're going to ram these guys, yeah? After they start ramming these guys, yeah, with their car, boom, man, start flying like Superman, yeah? That's what, what happened then. Afterwards, the crime, boom, went down. Why? Because the feds, they understood, taking their helmet off. Oh, no, no, no. When we give more right to the criminal, then, sister, we're going to have corruption in the land. You're going to have people coming as you're walking, snatch your phone. We need to make them scared. So what that means is, man losing your hand, I'm not asking for it, I'm saying in an Islamic country, that's there, why? Because if you know you're gonna lose your hand, well, I don't wanna lose my hand, yeah? Okay, how am I gonna do boxing, you get me? Yeah, yeah. So, what that means is, and when you do it, you do it in front of a group of believers, why? So they can see and say, look, Banda, I'm not, I, don't, I don't want that to happen. And in Islamic history, go and look and find out, I don't know exactly how many times this was implemented. The Prophet, peace be upon him, a woman came to him once, and said, I've committed adultery. Prophet moved, no, 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 it was Mars, it was a companion. Prophet moved away from him. He came to him, he, said, he moved away from him, three, four times. Why? If we want to implement it, the Prophet, you know what the Prophet said to him? They said, maybe you just winked at her. Maybe you just kissed her, yeah? He was trying his best to deter the punishment, but he was saying, no, I've done it. I want the capital punishment. Mm -hmm. So from the get go, the Sharia doesn't want to cut anybody's hand off. It's there as a deterrent so you can walk in the street safely. So your honor is protected so next man doesn't come and talk rubbish about you, yeah? So these measures are in place, sister, to protect your well-being. Psychologically, mentally, physically, spiritually, it's there so you can be protected in all forms of angles. That's why it's there. I was also re more regarding like things that like not necessarily yeah. like like violent crime or murder yes. but things that you know modern society would consider like not necessarily as taboo as it was like um, okay. sex outside of marriage for example yeah. that you know you can be lashed or if you're married yeah, you can be killed like yeah. you know why implement things that were more taboo back then yeah, 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 yeah. in something you know in okay. that way that's not necessarily appropriate for nowadays because I've seen uh, I think it was Omar Suleiman who said that we don't have any like Pure oh, you watch Islamic Muslim, yeah? society. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So therefore, it doesn't make sense that we would implement these 
laws that were implemented in a pure Islamic society in a society that's changed because he the said, laws of the people that? don't match. Did he, did he say I that? believe it was him or somebody. If he said that, he's, he's wrong. Oh. If, he, if he said that. But, bit, but what I'll say is this, yeah, look. Firstly, you need to understand something. Mm -hmm. From the get-go, nobody, the Sharia doesn't want anybody's hands to be cut off. Mm -hmm. From the get-go, yeah? It's there to implement, but we're not out there looking for it. Mm -hmm. Now, implementing in today's age, we haven't seen it to see what the results will be. Mm -hmm. So to push it away because it sounds gruesome, yeah? I would say it's not fair. Why? So, for example, because to say, okay, we're westernized and we're civilized now. Okay, hold on a second. We're westernized, we're civilized. Okay, no problem. If that's the case, we have gambling addicts, mm -hmm. alcoholics. We have people robbing people like this happy days. What is the solution for that? Go, go prison with the TV, PlayStation, and go, go, you stab next man, take his life, and what do you get? Life in prison, uh, night and day, you, it's counted as uh, two days. Boom, you come out, they give you 20, 15 years, life in prison, you come out in seven years, you're good inside, wash some dishes, you come out in five years. And you've taken somebody's life. Is that justice? I wouldn't deny that Western society. I, like, I have no problem with it. I'm yeah. just saying, in, I'm just trying to make you understand. Yeah. I wouldn't say Western society and civilization are like synonyms. I wouldn't yes. deny that Western society has problems. Yeah. And there's definitely better ways to do it. Yeah. But I don't necessarily think if somebody, for example, is an alcoholic yeah. and they start drinking anyway, because yeah. people will do things in private anyway. And we know that okay, happens private, in life. Yeah. But they'll become alcoholics. And if they drink out in public, yeah. how would the, you know, flashing them or killing them be another better solution? Okay, all right. So basically, number one, you don't kill uh, somebody who drinks alcohol, yeah? You lash them. Uh, yeah. the, 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 the people have uh, differed of what the punishment would be. Mm -hmm. Now, Islam cares about the wider society <laughs> than the individual. Mm -hmm. So this, the, the West says, no, each individual has his rights. He wants to drink alcohol, he can drink alcohol. But if we say his alcohol is having a harm on this community, mm -hmm. Islam prioritizes the community rather than an individual who wants to drink alcohol mm -hmm. or smoke crack or whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. So... What we're saying is, sister, for the well-being, for the greater good of people, if we know alcohol causes harm, stay away from alcohol. So, but, and this is based on if you're living in an Islamic country, yeah? Okay, we believe if it's there, there's justice. So if somebody realizes that if I steal, and when I mean steal, we're not talking about some petty thing, somebody who's poor. He goes out there, he's got money, he's okay, but he wants to go and steal a man who's wealthy. Why are you going to his property? He's, he's had a hard living. Imagine you guys, you celebrate Christmas, yeah? Yeah, and a lot of robberies happen in Christmas. Yeah, you've bought your children all the oh. gifts, all the presents. It's going to be a happy day. Next man comes in, breaks and takes everything. Yeah. ruins your day, ruins your ch children's presents, your life, your savings that you've done. Yeah, uh -huh. we're seeing that that person should not have. Why does he have a right? You should have a right. This is the reason why we're saying if somebody says, mm -hmm. okay, fuck it, court. What man? What, what's man's gonna get? Okay, all right, yeah, one year. I'll go paint some wall. Your community service. Yeah, clean some uh, rubbish in the. But if he says, hold on a second, man, I'm gonna, I might lose an arm. I'm going to lose an arm. You know what? Yeah, Banda, I don't lose my arm. Um, I'm not going to do that. So it's there as a deterrent, sister. See it as a deterrent. Why? So your family can... Because you're, you're, you're Christian? Uh, kind of. Okay, Agnos. Okay, you, you celebrate Christmas. Have your right to celebrate your Christmas. Mm -hmm. Why should somebody come and ruin that for you? Yeah. <clears throat> when you're walking down the road with your friend, why should you feel... Okay, you know what? What if some next man comes and... Why huh. should you feel that? So it's there, sister, to protect... If you look at Islamic civilization, mm -hmm. very low times this was implemented. You know why? Because nobody stole no one's thing. They didn't find the need to, you know? They didn't go around sleeping with next left, right, center. Why? Because you might say, okay, look, everyone has a right to go and have sex with whoever they like. Okay, but the harms that come with it is greater. STDs, that's just one argument. Number two, fathers who leave their kids. A lot of these guys who do these knife crimes, stabbing people, their fathers are not in their life. So do you see how the impact has on the society? Indirectly, we don't realize, but that sex that next man had, yeah, uh, for 10 seconds or whatever, and he ducks out and he goes, he's left that woman. That woman now has to look after that child, has to provide for that child because he's gone. He's, you can't find him. Suffering with child benefits or whatever it may be. Uh, Theresa may making it mash up as well. <laughs> yeah. So she's going through all of that. Now she needs to Medication. get that child, education, etc. Now that child is brought up in a mashup system. The father is not in the life, in his life. He turns to the roads. He goes and he thinks he's a gangster, fights over postcode that he doesn't even bloody own. Yeah? You know that thing you see, uh, street uh, names, yeah? N1. You don't even own that and you're killing people over it. Yeah? So now that child is the result of illegitimate sex. Yeah? Now, what we're saying is Islam is there to protect that. Again, no man should come and give you false promises, sleep with you and duck out. Because the society, the, the corruption that you're causing in the land is greater. Mm -hmm. That's why Allah says in the Quran, corruption 
is worse than murder, yeah. like killing someone. What that means is if one person who's causing corruption in the land, let's say if one person comes and says, let's overthrow the British government, yeah? Him saying that, him saying that and causing corruption and many people dying is better that that man is executed for treason than causing 20, 30 people to die. Do you get it? So we're going for the greater good, if that makes sense. Yeah, but regarding like the whole idea of like, you know, capital punishment or lashes for somebody who, you know, has sex outside of marriage yes. or cheats on somebody, yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean that there couldn't be a kid who's messed up because their parents get divorced. Oh, no, of course, of course, of course. There's a lot of love. There blah. is other ways that this could result from, yeah. so it doesn't necessarily no, justify no, yeah. doing that to those people. Of, of and there's not. plenty of people who have sex outside of marriage and they have safe sex and there's never a pregnancy. So, you know, and also people who are, you know, they're not having, you know, straight sex, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. No, look, there's, I've never said that every single child who's brought up with no father is mashup, no. Because I can give, uh, and Mohammed Hijab has said this publicly, so I'll give, give you an example, yeah? His parents were divorced, yeah? Mm -hmm. And look at Mohammed Hijab, he's a beautiful brother, he does amazing work, he was brought up by a single mother, yeah, may Allah bless his mother. Look, he's, and I'm, I'm not trying to praise him to his face because I know his faults, yeah? And there's some of that stuff in the battle, but that's a different story. Um, don't tell nobody. <laughs> but the thing is, he's a fine example of somebody who's brought up with, um, the father's not in their life, but good results he's yeah. somebody who's there who practice he's a good person he's a good individual you know he loves his religion he loves yeah. people etc so I'm not saying generally but I'm saying what it comes back to is prevention is better than cure because just because a few dozen we need to look at it holistically if it's having a massive impact then we can't say okay there's a few uh, options that for example there's people who have uh, um, intercourse with contraceptives mm -hmm. so therefore no but there's a lot of people who get STDs yeah. they still have contraceptives. But the people that aren't really harming the society if they get caught doing it, you know, sex okay. oh, marriage, okay. should they be lashed or killed? Okay, okay. no, 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 Even sister. if they're not harming. No, 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 sister, okay, so for example, if somebody, if someone's a homosexual, uh -huh. in an Islamic country that's run by full Sharia, yeah? Uh -huh. If that person is having sex with a man in his house, mm -hmm. nobody can say nothing because it's not known. And if anybody accuses it, they get whipped for slander. Mm -hmm. Now, if somebody, let me put it like this. I can't come and say, okay, I saw, uh, Mary having intercourse with a man. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened to me? I'll get lashed for slander. Mm -hmm. There has to be four witnesses who see, they yeah. say the, the, the pen going in the ink, mm -hmm. literally. Not, I saw them kissing. If four people's witnesses do not match one another, they all get whipped for slander. Mm -hmm. So it's not an easy case of, oh yeah, I just saw. No, you have to see explicit, four of you, same spot, seeing exactly what happens. And that's quite, it that's can also be shown by pregnancy, though. Unmarried there is, there is, there is, there is some, 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 yeah, but that would be. Uh, they, they take that as evidence that it, Zina has occurred if a I woman think gets even, pregnant. I think even Tamir in his Majma Fatah, I think he says something along those lines that it can be proven by pregnancy. But I'm, I'm actually, I think, I there, is a, there is a dis difference really of chef, opinion, but it's something chef that happens. Book, uh, book of, is that, is that what you read? Uh, uh, recently. Uh, right, you, you should, you should tell, tell yeah, about yeah, some yeah. of the spicier no, no, opinions no, no, in no, no, that no, no, book. No, no, we're getting extra spicy now. It's just, I'm just giving lemon and herb first, yeah? So the thing is, sister, is that there is different ways of going about it. But the point here is this. Yeah. Islam is there to protect the wider society. Uh -huh. So one man wanted to have sex with next door neighbor's wife. If that's going to cause a greater harm, mm -hmm. don't. The reason why stoning to death, this is the, 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 the punishment, yeah? And once again, the Prophet three times moved away from a companion who confessed. Yeah. He said, I've done this. He said, look, go, ahead, go away. Just go away. He acted like he didn't hear it. He even when he confronted him so much, he said, okay, maybe you kissed her. Okay, maybe you kissed her. Maybe you uh, touched her. Why? Because Islam doesn't want it executed. Islam's whole point is there as a deterrent. Don't do it. It causes more greater harm. That's all it is. So then we can live in a society where I don't need to fear next man moving to next man's wife. Yeah. I can live in a society where theft is not happening. I can live in a society. So it's there holistically yeah. to protect the community system. That's why it's there. I do re recall saying, it's kind of vague, excuse me, but yes, basically it was, um, there's like this one society living under an Islamic state and yeah. they have a thing where guys are able to marry their mothers. And Islamically, that's against, I know where's, it's very vague. Where is that? I don't know. Then it's a Sharia, yeah. that's really. Yeah. 
But no, it was existing they can marry, under they can marry Islamic their, state. They can marry their it's mother. very vague. I'm sorry. Yes, it was a minority group. They weren't Muslims. It was a minority group oh. living under Muslim rule. Oh, okay. But there was a law, like an exception for them to be able to be governed by their own like religious laws. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, for yeah. example, that's why Jizya. Yeah. Jizya comes into it. Yeah, yeah. which James loves it's it. Like oh, that. when he hears Jizya, so, look how happy he gets. Look at him. Well, regarding people that, you know, don't adhere to Islam or not Muslims, no, you, you can know, live. You can live like the Prophet yeah, some time. But I'm in some states that I don't know what your opinions on are like what societies that say they're implementing Islamic law if they're really implementing Islamic that's the thing, law. They don't. But societies that are doing that, you know, that's not really the case. People are kind of expected to conform to the laws that mm. govern Muslims but aren't governing them because they're not a part of that religion. Yeah. So for example, this is the reason why jizya jizya is. Sorry, about Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's breaking my fast here. Yeah? I didn't know that. Well, ten minutes. But is there, has anyone got dates? Halal one, I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, we need. We, I mean, to break my fast two minutes, sister. Yeah, sorry, we need to break our fast. Man's been fasting for very long. Yeah, sister. So, um, yeah. So, jizya is for those for the people of the book, the Christians, the Jews, and some say Magians, Yeah, mm -hmm. the fire worshippers. What about like that, Hindus and Buddhists? Uh, no, sorry. Other, what yeah, happens yeah. to them? I don't know exactly, but for example, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, in the Arabian Peninsula, they can't they couldn't live there anymore. They have to be bye bye uh, out. Yeah. I don't know what <laughs> happens to, like, for example, uh, in, say, in India. Yeah? yeah, I don't know. I personally, I do not know. Yeah. I would ask my teachers. But the Christians, the Jews, and the Magians, if they pay the jizya, yeah, that's a poll tax. Yeah, if they pay that, they don't need to fight in the army. Yeah, they don't need to fight in the uh, army. Yeah, what they will do is they can live in their own land. They can they, they can do what they like. You drink alcohol, no problem. As far as I know, whatever they want to do, they can do it. Yeah, they can have as long as they. Well. Yeah, they have their own law. Yeah, drinking alcohol.